Hey guys, it's Lana here and today I want to show you guys some hairstyles with bangs, curly bangs to be specific because that's what I have and that's probably what most of you guys have. So I define my bangs in the same way that I did in my previous video. If you guys haven't seen that video yet then click the card right here that will take you to that video and it will show you guys how to get defined ringlets. I just don't usually have the time to do it for the rest of my hair but if you guys want to see me do that then continue commenting asking for that video and I will consider making that video. <laughs> so I really hope that this video gives you some inspiration over the holiday period for some hairstyles. I am just looking everywhere for inspiration for party hairstyles, party outfit looks, party makeup. It's my favourite thing about the holiday period. I love getting dressed up, I love getting glammed up, I love the glitter, I love the sparkles and then at the actual party I just love seeing everybody that I've missed all year. Everybody makes the effort to get together and see each other and I just love it. So comment down below what is the thing that you love most about Christmas time? Is it the glitz? Is it the glam? Or is it the fam? That worked really well and I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> it is the season of giving, so give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. You guys want to see some hairstyles and I want to give you some hairstyles, so let's go ahead and get into them. This first hairstyle was actually inspired by Josie from Riverdale and I'm just going to need to put all of my hair on top of my head like this and it's going right on top of my head like literally vertical that's why I'm kind of stroking my hair up vertically and I'm just going to wrap my hair around. I just like my hair when I wrap it first rather than tying it. So I wrap it around and then I tie that down like this. And I'm also deciding to take these long curls around my face and put those up. Also, I'm going to be really ratchet by bringing my curls back using saliva. So I'm going to lay my edges down with some gel. I'm just going to play with those curls a bit just to make them look exactly how I want them. And that is look number one. Hairstyle number two is pretty loosely based on that girl from My Wife and Kids. I can't remember her name right now, but I'm pretty sure she used to wear her hair like this and I used to really like it. So I decided to recreate it today. So I literally just clipped the sides of my hair back and that's it. It's the final look. And that's a butterfly clip. So that's look number two. Hairstyle number three is another updo. So I'm gonna take all of my hair on top of my head again like I did with the first one, but we're gonna do things a little differently. So I'm actually taking my hair tie from the back of my head, which I don't usually do. I'm doing things differently. So you're gonna to wanna to take your hair tie and pull it from the back of your head instead. Come on, Lana, you can do it. The hair tie's right there. Yeah, you got it. So on the second passing, you are going to want to kind of just leave it halfway. So don't pull all of your hair through. And then you've created kind of this pineapple and it's an extension of your fringe kind of. So it's making your fringe look really full and thick. And there's just kind of a lot of hair framing your face. I think it looks really, really cool. I also really liked this with this headband. Tell me what you guys think. So it's a little bit random. I don't know. I kind of like it. It's a little bit more glam. So then we have number four. So for number four, I wanted to fix the hair around my face. I mean, after doing four hairstyles, it's looking a little bit lackluster. So I'm going to spray it with some water. And this is the method that I spoke about at the start of the video. So I do have another video for this. You guys can click the card to see it. So basically I just wet my hair and then I run through it with a comb and wrap it around my finger and that just really brings the curls back. It actually makes ringlets like what I have in my fringe right now. So I just did that with a few of my curls and if you guys want to see the full video then just click the card. So now that I have fixed up my hair I am actually going to separate a piece of hair, tuck it under my chin and then I'm going to tie up all of my hair at the side. 
And then I'm going to tie up all of my hair at the side. So I've got a side ponytail and then I'm going to cover the hair tie with the piece of hair that I set aside. So that's just going to wrap all the way around. So I'm just going to keep it smooth, wrap it around and luckily it ends tucked in behind. If it doesn't end there then you can kind of tuck it underneath. So then you just want to take a bobby pin and pin that piece of hair down. It should stay in place pretty easily. And then you want to lay your baby hairs and your edges on this side. I want it to look quite sleek and smooth on that side. And then this is the final look. I also add a little bow. Tell me what you think of that little bow. Number five is a half up, half down kind of hairstyle. So I'm separating this piece of hair. I'm going to take it really high on top of my head. I'm really liking really high ponytails. So this is going up really high and I'm just going to tie that pretty tightly. And that is pretty much the final look for that one. It's literally a half up, half down ponytail. It's really easy to do and it looks really cute. And then we have number six. Number six is the same and what you want to do is you want to turn that into a top knot. So I did that just by wrapping it around the hair tie and pinning it in place. And that's the final look. I love top knots. Now we're at number seven. So this is bunchies. And I think they look really cute. I actually used to wear my hair like this a lot when I had a fringe last time, which was a couple years ago. I haven't done it in a while, but I still think it looks cute. So I literally split my hair down the middle and I tied it pretty low down at the back of my head, behind my ear, on each side. And I left some hair to frame my face and that's the final look. For number eight, you're gonna turn those into buns, which is really easy to do since you already tied them down. You're just gonna wrap them around the hair tie and pin them in place. See, I always prefer to pin my buns rather than trying to tie them again, because I feel like when you try to tie it, you lose a lot of the shape of the bun and it can kind of fall out of the hair tie. Let me know if you have that problem as well. I just prefer to put them in with a bobby pin. So that's what I'm doing on each side. And actually I decided that I preferred it with those pieces of hair tucked behind my ear. I don't know, it gives me librarian vibes. I like it. Cute. So, for number nine. Number nine is just a style that I like, regardless of what my fringe is looking like, whether I've got hair left out or anything. I just love it. It's space buns. So this is similar to the last one and you're actually just gonna change it by making the buns a lot higher. So with this one, what I actually did is I just wrapped it without any hair tie. So just wrap the hair around itself and then pin it all down in place. And I like to keep it looking messy. I mean, I could make this look really clean, but I prefer the messy look for my space buns. And again, I'm just tucking those pieces of hair behind my ear because I just like that look today. Now... I got a little bit silly at this point. I'd been filming for a really long time, you guys. <laughs> so that is actually my last hairstyle for today. I really had loads of fun doing these hairstyles. Please let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite hairstyle out of all of these. I actually think this one's really, really cute. And I'm sorry that like my buns are not even. That's kind of what I like about this hairstyle is like, it just looks really scruffy. It's kind of like the get out of bed kind of hairstyle for me anyway. I think it's really, really cute anyway, even if the buns aren't even. Please thumbs up this video before you leave and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss more videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.